Welcome back. Now we will speak to Dr. Mohanad Malik. He's the founder of Syrian Researchers, an initiative that started from the core of Syria by creative Syrians all around the world and in cooperation with a group of Arab youth who shares the same interests. Welcome to Underground. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. Our first question, how did you come up with the idea of Syrian researchers? How did, I, how did it start actually? So let me just exp give you like a quick story how it, did it start. Actually, I'm like every single Syrian. I was like living in Syria till my 18th and I, like every single teenager, I was hoping to be like a medic. You know, in Syria or in the Middle East, we all hope to be medic or an engineer or an architect. Otherwise, that's considered by our society that we have failed in our study. So I was studying in Syria, then I moved to Lebanon, then I went to France and I started medicine, my, my medicine faculty there. Meanwhile, my, I was studying there, I started to realize that actually we don't have just these things that we have to work with it, okay? We have something different. We have a lot of new fields that we don't know about it in the Middle East. And one of those where was the research okay and the medical research for example and i always i always thought that research is just something for japanese people or american people and it's not possible to get access to this kind of thing with the time i decided to go into this field and i started to work on the university i went into biology second year then i got the genetic master and the cancer master i got my phd and during all this period I haven't seen too much Arab people studying the same thing. That was weird. I haven't thought really about it, but it kept in my mind, behind in my brain, and it went over. Then I moved from France and I went to Cambridge University, one of the best universities around the world. And as we all know, it's number one here in Europe. Mm -hmm. The surprise was when I arrived to the research center, I, here we have like around 500, 750 people and I was looking to see if there is any Arabic guy here and I haven't found any. I'm not saying that there is no Arab people in this field. Mm -hmm. We still have some okay, people. Okay, in this initiative particularly, do you have any other people with you? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. We are today about 250 people, mainly from Syria, but as well coming from Lebanon, from uh, Iraq, uh, from Egypt, uh, Egypt, from Saudi, we have a lot of people mm -hmm. all over the world, from Japan to Russia mm -hmm. to uh, the Middle Did East. Do they join online or are they university students as well? They are mainly university mm -hmm. students. However, it doesn't mean that they are just from the, uh, coming from the university. Some of them are not even in the university. Some of them are researchers. Some of them are just working and finished their study, okay? But it doesn't mean that we should be a researcher to be a part of the Syrian researcher. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like to know what are the conditions of joining this initiative? So are there certain guidelines for people to join? Actually, there's no too many uh, conditions. We have two points mm -hmm. to respect. We have to be uh, neutral and avoid talking politics and talking about religion. If we avoid these two points, you have your place in the Syrian initiative. Why is that? It doesn't mean that we are against religion or we are against politics, but our hope, our target is to be one country or one way of thinking, improve the way of thinking of the Arabic country. If we start to touch Mm -hmm. So, uh, excuse me here, I would, like, I would yeah. like to know, are these researchers or the things that you post or uh, you use social media to, to tell people, are they written in different languages? Sorry, say again the last bit? Do you have them in different languages, English, Arabic and... So, mainly is coming, so what we try to do is to translate everything coming from a uh, reliable source in English. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that we have just English. We have English, mm -hmm. we have French, and we have German. And uh, recently we have some people translating from the Russian. Anyway, what we, what we have all in common here is to translate into an easy Arabic language. We don't use this strong and uh, hard understanding language, mm -hmm. which is mainly used in different media around the Arabic world. 
here we try to use a simple language in order to make it clear for every single one okay. trying to understand our articles. The Facebook page of the Syrian researchers has more than 100,000 followers, which is something good. How could you do that? Do you have so certain strategies? Yeah. You have to tell us your secrets. Now, <laughs> there's no secret. Unfortunately, I don't have any secret here. All what I can do, I can say here is two points. The first thing is because we tried to grow this difference that we have comparing to other people. And when you have something new, something, you know, out of the box, mm -hmm. people everywhere would try to know more about it. And this was like one main point about senior research. The second point is we have a team trying to work hard in order to go and to connect with other initiatives in the, in the world, in the Arabic world, with the media, with the multimedia, we try to show other people that this target, this aim is really important for our society. We try to change it, help us. And a lot of people hit us actually. And the third point and the last point is the fact that we are speaking an easy language that mm -hmm. really helped us in okay, order what to is, get what is about what about the money behind this do you have any funders do you pay people that work with you are there volunteers or what okay so regarding the money i'm gonna give you the capital of serial recession the capital of serial researcher is 200 dollars. okay That's it? since we started so there is no money as you can understand however however all the work in the serial researcher is made by volunteers people mm -hmm. who wanted to change the the, the world and the, and, this, and the society. Now, in 2014, we are aiming in order to try to make it like not 100% for volunteers. We are going to try to raise some money to get some um, donation and we are going to try to give back this money to the people who tried to help us in the first instance and to reinvest it as well in the uh, senior researcher project. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mohamed Malik, my last question here. This is one of your dreams that you had and apparently you're really enthusiastic about it and that's how you talk about it. What yes. other dreams you have? My other dreams is actually are, let's, let me say are. I would like that one day when an Arab guy walk in the street here in the Champs-Elysees or in London or wherever, instead thinking that this Arab guy might be a terrorist, I would like that they would think that he might be a scientist. I would like that we have a better picture in the world, in the Occidental world. And the second thing, I would like to create the first research center here, I mean, in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And the third thing, I hope, and really we are working on it, with the team is to create the first Arabic scientific channel speaking an easy language and trying to show everyone in the Arabic world that science is not a second thing. Science is a priority, is as important as water and food. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dr. Mohanad Malik, Malik, the founder of Syrian Researchers, thank you so much for joining us on Underground and sharing us your experience. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. That was all on Underground for today. Our special thanks for watching. Bye-bye.